Hi, a data table is a blob of mess. Just look at this. It looks as if someone has put words and numbers into their mouth, chewed for a bit and spit it halfway through on a page. You stick this mess on a slide and your audience will run for shelter. So what are some of the ways you can improve a table in PowerPoint? Of course, you can do a few quick fixes. Like say, you can visually differentiate the header row from the rest of the data. You can simplify large and unwieldy numbers like this and also shade the alternate rows to make it easier for the audience to read and you would get a slightly better version like this. But the best thing you can do to make this table tolerable for your audience is to apply animation. Now, why do you need to apply custom animation to table, you ask? The first reason is to give context. Instead of presenting the entire table at once, you can first give your audience the context for the numbers by presenting just the header row like this. And once they are comfortable, then you can present the information one row at a time like this. And this is far better for the audience. It not only reduces the overwhelm for the audience, but it also prevents the possibility of their eyes wandering all over the numbers and get confused. So there is a clear and genuine reason why you need to animate tables in PowerPoint. And here comes the bummer. There is no native way for you to animate tables in PowerPoint. So I'm going to show you three ways you can animate a table in PowerPoint so you can present these kind of number based slides like a boss. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. The first option is you select the entire table, right click and cut it. Then you go to home, paste and click on the drop down menu to access paste special. You can either choose enhanced meta file, which is EMF format or SVG format. Whatever is available in your version of PowerPoint, you can choose. I'm going to choose SVG format and I'm going to say OK. Now I have an SVG image of the table right now. The benefit of this is I can break it down into individual components. All I need to do is to right click and then go to convert to shape option. If you have chosen EMF or WMF format, you need to ungroup the table two times. Yes, you heard that right. You need to ungroup twice. The first time when you do it, this is the pop-up dialog box that comes up and it says this is an imported picture, not a group. Do you want to convert it to a Microsoft Office drawing object? You say yes and the first level of ungrouping happens. Now this is not enough. We need to right click again, go to group and say ungroup. Now this breaks everything down into its individual elements. Now what this means is you can group the elements the way you want and have them animate one at a time. Let me show you the simplest of ways. Let me click outside. So I deselect everything. Then I'm going to select one row at a time. So let me click and drag my cursor across all these elements in the first row. And then let me press Ctrl G, which is the shortcut for group. Then place your cursor somewhere around halfway stage of the previous one. And then click and drag your cursor to select the second row and press Ctrl G to group. Do the same thing for the other rows as well and that will help you to organize the entire table as group of rows. Here I have done the grouping. The next step is to animate each of these groups. So let me select the first one, hold the shift button down, select the second one, third one, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth and then go to animations. Go to wipe animation and say from left and happens on click. Now, when I go to slideshow, I first give the context by explaining the various columns. And once the audience is comfortable, I click and introduce the first row, provide the details, and then the second row, the third row, and so on. So this is a very easy way for you to animate a table by breaking down the entire table into its individual components. Now, the next method is even simpler. Let me go to home. Let me go to the rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle like so that covers all the numbers end to end. Then go to shape fill, choose the color of the background. In this case, it is white. Go to shape outline and say no outline. Now what we've got is a mask that covers the numbers. Now let me go to animations and then choose an exit animation called wipe from left. So what we are doing here is 
we are masking each of the rows and on click we use exit animation to reveal one row at a time. Now this shape has animation already applied to it. So I just need to press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and place the second element right below the previous one and then press Ctrl D over, 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 over and over again. So now I've got the entire table covered. Let me go to slideshow and this is what you see. You first explain the context and then on a click you reveal one row at a time with exit animation. It's a very simple and effective way whether you want to reveal one row at a time or one column at a time or even if you want to reveal only a few numbers in your table. The third method is a bit laborious but the result really looks beautiful and that is for you to build your table by using shapes. I wouldn't recommend this for very elaborate tables. If you have say a three column table then this one can be done quite easily. Now take a look at this. This is actually a template from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. First I show the header then on a click I reveal the first row, the second row, third, fourth, fifth and sixth row. If you don't want to build out the rows you can draw the viewers attention from one row to another or one column to another like this. Here we have four columns. On a click, I draw the viewer's attention to the first column and I can write my notes here. Then I can click and move the viewer's attention to product two, then product three, product four, like so. I've already shown you how to do it in a step-by-step -step way in this video called Creative Way to Animate PowerPoint Table and it is available in our Prezo training channel. I will leave a link to that in the description box below the video. And just as you can do moving highlights for rows, you can do moving highlights for columns as well and you can write your notes here. Everything works on the same principle. Now another thing you can do to make it as easy for your audience to read the table in PowerPoint is to reduce everything to parametric comparison. You can see here we have a set of parameters and we have a set of items. The audience doesn't really have to process a lot of numbers. All they need to do is to just see which are the ones that are ticks and which are crosses. Now you can take this idea to the next level by using a quantitative evaluation matrix. For example, let me show you this template. On a click I show the items and then I talk about the parameters and then show the intersection of these elements and then present the quantitative information in the form of three dots, single dot or two dots. This is low, this is medium and this is high and this makes the parametric comparison that much easier. A variation of this is this where you can show the progress of various projects using Harvey balls. I've made a separate video on how to create Harvey balls in PowerPoint. You can always refer to that. I will provide a link to that in the description box below as well. If you don't want to show something as complex as this, you can simplify it with just three modes like say low, medium and high and you can have as many parameters shown like this. As you can see here, this is visually quite appealing and it is not intimidating as well. If you have not already signed up for our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas free email course, then do yourself a favor and join this free email course right away. These are 25 useful, practical and simple ideas that I don't share elsewhere. The link is in the description box below the video or you can find the link right here on the right hand side. So click, join the course and take your PowerPoint slides to the next level.